it's like the subconscious being like, we can hit this if we go for this right now. This crosses the boundaries of what a typical Huntress player would probably think about. Huntress Ride Me Please had 150 hours by playing Huntress on console. One year ago, I reviewed his Huntress gameplay. Fast forward to today, he's now on the top 100 Huntress Snipers leaderboard, and he wanted to thank me for the advice that I gave him a while back because I reviewed his gameplay. And now fast forward in the future, he asked me, I was maybe wondering if you'd like to do another review with some recent gameplay. Huntress games, obviously. And I basically obliged and said, yeah, of course. To be honest, I think it would be really cool to see someone who is incredibly new at Huntress and see how they evolved over time to now becoming one of the top 100 Huntress snipers in the whole world. This will be the first match of Huntress Rebney Please's gameplay, aka Mr. Blindspine. He got sheltered woods and he's, whoa, well, look at that build. So he's running Superior Anatomy, Bloods of Rage, Darkness Revealed, and Terminus. That's a crazy build. Holy crap. Not that one, huh? All right. Two. So no. I'm, I'm gen, so I'm guessing a lot of how this build oh, will this probably is... operate is hooking survivors and then we got the on, baby. trying to control the auras. Wouldn't you agree? It's the first one, Nancy. Second, on Jin. He goes. Oh, oh freaking crouch tech is OP. God I'm noticing. Hell. He's doing a bit of like predicting with the, the hatchets. Nice flick. I think he's on PC now. Oh yeah, he has he has to be on PC because um he's on the Steam leaderboard, so he has to be on the Steam account. Yeah, I really noticed. So this is the main difference between controller and PC. It's easier to kind of have that fluidity for flicks, a hyper acceleration from going from one end to, to another end really fast. With the controller, it's a little bit more of a gradual turn. This is why I recommend it to people to use the highest sensitivity they're, they're comfortable with. So like they can get the most out of flicks and predicting what survivors will do. Right off the bat, just from the, the first two shots that he hit, I see predictions and um, target switching. Okay. All good, no worries. Sometimes it's a little bit tight to hit the shot. Nice. Predicting that he's going to keep going forward. Oh! Yikes. And then the second shot there is to predict that someone else is going to try to go for like a heal on the downed person. And he's also running Wooden Fox and the Gloves. So I'm guessing that helps nope. pair really well with the Darkness Revealed. The, the way that I'm noticing how he's playing is that he has builds of revolving around being very in control. Usually when people hook a survivor, they get a barbecue and chili proc and have the aura reads. With the darkness revealed, he reloads, winds up a hatchet, expects an aura for a cross map shot. It's it's a completely different way from how I play, but it's it's very valid. Well, the rage giving him a good read on someone from far away. For his type of playstyle, I didn't mean to let of trying go. to predict where the survivors are going without them realizing um, that he's looking at them. Bloods of Rage is, is very good for his playstyle. I'm noticing he's uh, gotten comfortable with the sensitivity on Hunty right now. Excuse me, says. Good control over the map, trying to predict Get off my property. if they're going to be on certain gens. This is a this is a way that um, Huntress is used to control the map. Have one downed person and one person on the hook. The best way to um, make sure that you have a constant okay. amount of pressure to when gens go really fast. It. Uh, Utilizing wow. the ores quite well. No. Trying to go for predicts. Some people beat themselves up over missing shots like these, but if you can't see them, you're kind of predicting yeah. where they're going. You, you gotta, you gotta experiment a little bit. And over time, the more you go for predictions, the more you'll start to recognize patterns. Nice shot. I can definitely sense um, the game sense and heightened awareness from this match in comparison to the one we reviewed previously. Okay. 
So now he does not know where anybody is. At this point, this is where Darkness of Yield is a little bit superior to Bitter Murmur and Barbecue. You could control getting uh, an aura read when you need it. He saw the explosion. He wants a little bit of a uh, guarantee of knowing where they are. They? Distortion gamers? Damn. I would suck a bit. I wonder why he's using the superior anatomy. Maybe it's for Aha. like shock. Oh, I oh. let it go on accident. <laughs> Happens. So this wooden fox right now makes him oblivious. Have the undetectable. Aha. Yeah, and he's taking advantage of this hesitation. Because this movement. Okay. Make a less fucking cage. Nice. I've been reviewing his gameplay a second time, and whether it be Floods of Rage, Darkness Revealed, Wooden Fox, Superior Anatomy, he's focusing tremendously on the things that he can control and taking engagements that are relatively safe. I wonder if it's holding him back a little bit, as it seems like he's not engaging in too many situations where things are out of his control, places where hunting down survivors and places where they may not be. Because by over-anchoring your playstyle to only when you see them with Darkness Revealed or Floods of Rage procs, yes, it will give you the guarantee. But I wonder if maybe you should take things a little bit more adventurous, and especially in areas with generators, so you can not only control the survivors, but also the generators as well. But overall, very, as a critique for shots, nice, really solid. That was... It's a very similar way to how I play Huntress. If you want to know how I play, Man. I you try to maintain control of the map by hitting oh, cross maps okay. and downing people over and over and over again so that you go Yo, faster gamer. than they can. Take this. <laughs> so. Ah, shit. That's okay. Okay. Hmm. He's going for a lot of predictions. So I, I have a feeling that Huntress Ride Me Please trying to build his repertoire of like muscle memory for cross mapping people. This is like one of the learning stages. When you play Huntress, you never really stop learning because you need to keep constantly adapting to how people are dodging and changing their playstyle against Huntress. So when he's constantly throwing these lobs, even when no one's on the screen, he's predicting what people are going to do. And um, it's good. Even if he gets outed here, I believe. There was someone by the gen, I think. Even if he gets outed here, this building of muscle memory, building a nice library of what shots work, what patterns work, how people react, how people move. I said, don't they? <laughs> there you go. It's a nice free one from Nancy here. Mistakes are basically how you learn. Huntress is bu a bunch of he is a knower. layers stacked up on each other. Does he hit that? Uh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing this is where Terminus comes into play. Every single time he injures a survivor, they remain injured for the rest of the match. Oh, which gives him a lot nice. of slugging potential. Okay. So this this might be this way. might be interesting. It's an explosive way to play, but get it really revolves around hitting your shots here. I don't know where I I'm gonna get the darkness revealed proc. Maybe get a cross map here. Oh, just barely. Overall, Mr. Blindspine is practicing prediction cross map flicks and risky shots. I don't really have any qualms with how you played. You seem to be building up a library, a repertoire, a set of patterns of how people move so that you can hit some really nice shots when the survivors least expect it. It looks like you're comfortable with your sensitivity as your flicks looked pretty solid there. And if your play style is to say, stay within the center of the map and cross map, cross map, cross map, cross map, gain pressure from snipes, I can't really knock how you played <laughs> because what you did is what you're supposed to do, as in 
learn what works, learn what doesn't, miss a bunch, and figure out how the survivors move, capitalize. Hunter's Ride Me Please also sent me a second match that he played. Um, this time he's going to be playing on Sanctum of Wrath, and it seems like he's using Thwack. Murmur. He's got a wild build. Pallet break or reading. Generator pop or reading. And the locker. And it seems like he swapped out for an extra hatchet and cooldown on the windup. Might be another juicer squad right now. Hold up. Or solo queues, huh? Yeah, that's definitely mouse and keyboard, I think. The difficult bit about Bitter Murmur is you, it's really difficult to cross map over this big structure. Only two? I'm guessing he's tracking that the guy going right is going to keep going right, and the other guy going left is going to keep going left. Oh, my ankles. They're gone cool. from last match, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Mr. Clean. Oh, nice. I'm going to do a little bit of prediction on what she's going to do. A little red stain in it. Very nice. And uh, I think it's really nice there that instead of M1-ing her, you wound up a hatchet. That's actually the better play there if you want to throw a second hatchet because it's oh the fa God, it's safe? faster to throw a hatchet, throw a hatchet rather than M1, wipe, throw a hatchet. So I, I like that what you did there. Nice conversion. <laughs> yeah, lucky ain't got no axes, buddy. It's Meg and Jill. Now, Dr. Zvield proc. Okay, let's try not to proxy too much. Yeah, he's trying to play nice. <laughs> the fun thing about using a lot of ore procs is that you need to go fast. If you don't go fast, then the ore reading that you get from, like, let's say, Bitter Murmur is going to be wasted, right? You want to you want to be able to ha be able to throw a hatchet when they pop a gen. So you got to be ready for it. Nice. That's not even Meg, is it? Gotta be on your toes. I'm not too sure. Predicting a, a shack play. Okay. And a very oh. similar play style to before. Booners. Holding the center, trying to get cross maps to gain pressure from downing people to where you cannot physically go to, as Huntress is a 110 killer. A bit of a side note. I've oh noticed Hunter's Ride Me oh Please has been punishing greedy survivors for some of their plays, and he's been prioritizing oh, okay. kicking the boons, yeah. even though it was very accessible to him. These little things that he's doing in micro will add up in the long run and are quite good. I could see this as an improvement from my previous gotta, gameplay review, where uh, this anyway, was actually a problem. A With each little micro optimization, your matches will gradually get easier and easier and easier. All these little things that I'm noticing have been very good and keep improving on them. Yeah, it's very difficult. The survivors that he's going against seem to be... Uh, oh, that was a nice shot. He's doing a lot of um, predicting survivor hesitation here. That is something that you need to build up over time by constant exposure to how people play. I think I hit the rock. At the pallet, some people move to the left, some people move to the right. A lot of the time, you can get a oh, gauge of what they're going to ah, do ahead of time based off Amazing. their movement. It's a it's a weird predicting thing that you can do. So he's going to get this nice conversion of Meg here. I, I noticed he, he got rid of Floods of Rage. There are only four Scourge time. Hooks that spawn in every map um, right now. So I was playing Huntress against my it makes sense. Um, he, it probably is very difficult. He had a good setup. He said something that was very profound, and it's kind of clicking in right now. <clears throat> what hunt? A lot of what Huntress is oh, we found somebody is else. intuition. Um, basing your decisions off patterns that you see, and acting oh, hitboxes. a lot on reaction and impulse, like that flick. See, that is Were nuts. You? Taking that information in, baby. Speaking oh. of impulse. Bitch, I can hit you from here. You know that? Oh, uh, he tried that. to go for it. So, 
a lot of when I first started playing Huntress, I would always second guess my shots. Oh, I'm not going to hit that. Oh, I'm not going to hit this. This shot's not going to hit. It's not going to make it. I I didn't trust my instincts. But there's a reason why sometimes the brain feels a certain way. It's like, man, I really should have gone for that shot. Because subconsciously, you have a built up of patterns, right? Of times in the past where you missed and made mistakes. And it's like the subconscious being like, we can hit this if we go for this right now. There are some reads that you can make that are above the conception of when you make it. So you can have like a straightforward shot where you fully wind up and hit a survivor. But sometimes your subcon the subconscious can kick in. And based off all the previous mistakes that you made before, if you trust the instinct of the library that you've built up over time that can help you hit shots that you wouldn't normally be able to hit based off reaction and instinct Whoa. very complex topic <laughs> oh, wait, that was but it's something that that happens over time Never when you play huntress for a long man. time aka uh, mr blindspun he's on the top 100 uh huntress snipes leaderboard here because he's been building up that library which is very good Maybe I'll I'll cover that one day in great detail. These guys are anticipating if I go across this corner, I'm probably going to get hit. All right. Lost Meg a little bit. What? That's okay. Dude, there's like absolutely nowhere. But what I like about Mr. Blindspine oh, she had, uh, on how he plays, it seems like he... Uh, He's learned to trust his instincts with the shot, like a true huntress. Um, although he is not going for like very sweaty plays when he said, I'm not, I don't want a proxy here. His reads have been pretty solid. She just knows. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta learn. This is a different type of player that you need to. Build a repertoire with. Somebody just knows those shots. Knowers. There's a thing with knowers and new players. Knowers will react as if you know what you're doing. So, oh, he hit a nice shot. So, I ran out. when it comes to people that are new, this is running joke that new players, I can never hit nice. new survivors. Nice. Because the instincts that you need and the reads that you need for new players versus veterans are completely different. It's like facing a completely different survivor. Um, just like a different breed, different animal. So this is why I mean why she didn't know where I was coming from. You can get a read off how people play based off their movement, because you need to get a gauge of how much experience someone has. And subconsciously, you'll be able to react yeah, on impulse um, based oh, off doing? previous knowledge of how people okay. like that play. No, not really. This is a deep, deep topic. I'm, I'm going into such because he's in the top 100. He's in uh, probably top 1% of Huntresses right now. And this type of knowledge goes beyond into the advanced category of playing her. I have to like push it all the way forward. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're out of hatchets out here. Of uh -oh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you gotta hit these snipes if you want to get these these kills here. Predicting. Ooh, ah, the the barred time. Good down. And now he's just trying to thread okay, everything in. Two more injured players. Seven if he gets another hit in here, then he's gonna be able to get a second down. But where's your other mech, huh? Okay. Where is she at? Where are they? Holy sh Yeah. So this is the a very similar tactic once again. Wow. That's either going we're going forever, Soul Guard. Solid. 
So the end game collapse timer is getting to the lower end where the 30 second mark. It's very likely you might only get like a 1k here. I feel like this is, a, this is another learning how to aim hatchets match. I, I probably, I, I made sure to give you a lot of insight when it comes to trying to learn advanced techs because this crosses the boundaries of what a typical hunters player would probably think about. I would probably focus a little bit more on maybe capitalizing off the bitter murmur if you're going to keep it on. I like that you're trying to build like a repertoire playing based off intuition. Very nice shots. Good predictions. Those are, these are very difficult shots to make. And you've been doing, you're doing very good. Hunters Rodney, please, has played a third game. He's hiding his perks this time. The Whack, Darkness Revealed, and Terminus. So I think this can be a very decent Huntress map. Nice and open. Oh my God. And you, you notice with all these matches, he's not really afraid of losing. He's he's mainly focused on getting better. Oh, you see someone right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Because. <clears throat> nice, nice. The, the most important part is not getting the 4K. You can't expect to get the 4K when you're not at your full potential yet, right? I think I'm done now. When you're at your full potential, you're going all in. Then the 4K matters more. But when you're in the learning process, when you're learning your ABCs, you can't expect to yeah, speak English right away instantaneously. You got to first learn the basics or at least the advanced text for hitting shots. Noticing he's uh, he did an M1 there. In all the previous matches, he was avoiding to do an M1. So maybe this time um, he might go a little bit or some more kills this time around instead of a uh, a learning strategy where the f you win mate it's hiding okay 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 seems very silent too maybe that's just how ash is Ooh. holy <laughs> so he knows he's going closer to the house no he's not the house looks to the left Ash is a little jukey juke. Wow. Free down. He's Ooh. also using flight speed this time. Kind of a juicer, huh? A, bit, a little bit of a note on flight speed. You might need to adapt a little bit more with the speed. It's going to take some time. But I'm assuming you've been using it a lot. If you ever use flight speed, you kind of want to use it for like a couple games to get used to it. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Oh, you're <laughs> lying to me. It takes a bit to get used to, even for me and Rose Root. These add-ons wow. make hatchets move faster. I didn't get both auras because one has distortion. And it cut it fucked me up because I was staring at it. Um, That's okay. Thanks. So, holding more central. Looking for players. This one out in the open. Nice. Nice, nice. That was a two-tap and a half, baby. So, he wasn't looking behind him. Expect them to go straight. A nice, solid one, two shots. Very easy. But I'm surprised he's not breaking these breakable doors. Maybe he finds comfort Hi. in Can I interest you? landing shots in at, at tight angles. I didn't want to get it. It bugs. I'm going to do a pre aim play. That's okay. That's something you got to practice timing on. Jumps off. Are you fucking joking? Maybe take a little bit of time. I know he's going for a flick, so he's probably just trying to build wait, wait, flick wait, wait, muscle memory, win, huh? which is really hard. Really and that's the most a hard. one of the most asked questions I get asked. How do you flick? It's it's you got to just get used to your sensitivity. Shit, where do you win? Um, and it takes a lot of time. Lost him. So practice, practice, practice. So, the fact that he missed that, won't really judge him too hard. Checking this corner gen here. Be aim for the gaps, yeah. Nice, solid shot. Save the most time goes around. Nice pathing. This is a little bit of a riskier play. Ah! <laughs> nice. He's a pattern that Jake is going around in a circle behind the boxes and decides to hold it on based off. What he sees. 
What am I looking at? <laughs> Hitbox. Oh god, thank god no balance landing. Doesn't wind up. I don't know why I swing. <laughs> Do I make it now? Shit. Not really. With Bloodlust, you can probably get in melee. Yeah, you have yeah. to. I wonder if you're um, if, if if we're saying this match, you're 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 playing to try to go for some more kills. I wonder if you're over committing a little bit. I don't really know though. I feel like maybe you you could have broken this a little bit earlier, but you probably wanted to go for the chase on Ash. That's reasonable. These are like okay-ish plays, but I think there there's. Ooh, that was a nice. You see how he's like a blind lob and no no tight time to line up, because instinctively he's like, this is the right place to to throw the hatchet. This is the right place to let go. It's that built-in muscle memory and instinct, um, based off previous experience. I wonder. If maybe you should lay more into your instinctive throws. So maybe if so, if a shot feels really weird, go for ones that you don't normally go for. And try to push that was nice work. the boundaries a little bit more with the shots you take. Maybe you did this a little bit in the past. <clears throat> is, uh, not throwable. But like if you have that feeling like this, I can probably hit this, but it's going to be really hard. Go for it. Um, because um, the the way that you're playing is a lot of speed. You you're trying to down people really quickly. Nice try. And um, if you want to get the speed, you need go, to go, go, play go. a little bit more in a manner where you go for really difficult shots. Ah. Uh, uh. Trying to predict a window vault. That's okay. Oh no. The fucking whatever the fucking thing is right here, man. <laughs> the key is to not get tilted. When in in situations where it's really intense, if if oh, nice Thank shot. You. Nice. If you let your emotions get to you, it can actually have an impact on your hand, on your mouse, or your, your controller. And it could only get the mess with your impulse or the way that you aim. Like, so mental, your, the mental focus can affect your physiological, um, mechanical play. So, but Keeping your cool can help you as well. Also, it may also help you play... Um, oh, he's still on the floor. Too. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, hold up. You got three hatchets here. Nice. That's okay. All right, not bad. Right, it's a nice good. shot on Hola. Mr. Hey, Nicholas hey, Cage. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we have no axes. Shit. We missed too many times, that's why. Gonna predict for a nice. This is a YOLO shot. Ooh. Right. Okay, that's not bad. That was really nice. So, oh, death. the double. Okay. <laughs> I got one for later, buddy. Now that's a solid 2K. Okay, slight turnover. Slight turnover. I can see. I can see a good foundation for how you're playing. And, uh, I think overall, really solid snipes. Nice predictions. I am not so sure about your thwack. Maybe uh, um, you have a uh, sort of tech with it. My own, one of my one of my criticisms is maybe the build, um, just the thwack. I don't know about the terminus, but it seems like you're going for like a more explosive end game play. So the terminus could be fine. I I like that you're going for a lot of the cross maps. I like that you're going for a lot of these really difficult shots and actually hitting them out of all things, predicting survivor movement on how they move. Now. Uh, one of the next steps is to try to sharpen the blade a little bit. Next time you play Huntress, when you have a feeling that you should, you could go for a shot, but your gut reaction is like, man, that's too hard. Th these doubts, right? Try to notice that feeling 
and go for it anyway, because you never know until you don't try and you won't really build that library of information, that gut muscle memory until you go for those shots. So in order to become more comfortable with the unknown, more comfortable with the, dis the, with the uncomfortable, you take what's foreign and you make it familiar, that can help push the envelope a little bit more, that it helps you hit your shots as a huntress. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make some more. And if you guys wanna know more basic knowledge in comparison to how to play Huntress, I actually have a couple more reviews on the on my YouTube channel as well that you guys can check out. You can also see the previous um, Mr. Blindspine's Huntress gameplay. I'll have it in the end screen as one of the first videos. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little advanced Huntress review gameplay. Yeah, good job, uh, Mr. Blindspine. You're doing a great job. You're making a lot of progress. I can see that you're improving. Your intuition's really good. Keep working on instinct, the flicks, and the prediction shots. The faster that you can land your shots and your downs, the more often that you'll be able to land your snipes and, and pull out um, insane quick downs. So I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.